I'm excited to be here. I'm excited just to be out of the house. <laughs> I'm at that age where all my friends are doing the same thing. Getting married, having kids, buying houses, getting divorced. Y'all know the cycle. <laughs> I'm ready for some stakes in my life. I want to get married. I want to get divorced. <laughs> I want some stakes. So that's why me and my girlfriend, last week, we decided to adopt a highway. <laughs> a beautiful baby highway. We have a whole stretch of road now. A lot less paperwork than you'd think, so. I might not be taking care of a four-year-old, but I am picking up trash on I-40, so. If you guys want to do a play date, we're gonna break a sweat. I do love highways. I've been on the highway a lot recently for comedy. I love a good highway. I love road tripping. I've just been hanging out at Love's Travel Stops is what I'm trying to tell y'all. Like, that is my new home away from home. I love a Love's. You guys been to Love's recently? The things that you can find in a Love's, unbelievable. Like that t-shirt rack. Last time I was in a Love's, I saw a t-shirt in there that just said Arkansas on it for $6. I was in Alabama. I'm like, why is this here? But I bought it, because I'm an impulse shopper, so. I do all my holiday shopping out of loves if I can. People in my life are special, so they're getting neck pillows and pocket knives, Mel Gibson DVDs. <laughs> you can get all four lethal weapons at loves for $4. I don't know if you guys knew that. I'm pretty sure loves has an exclusive deal with Mel Gibson for every DVD he's ever made to end up on their shelf. I'm Jewish, so this past, thank you, yeah. Yeah. Wow, this is not Shabbat service. Did you guys... <laughs> Are you at the right event? <laughs> no, I'm Jewish. So, you know, everybody in my life for Hanukkah this past year got a DVD copy of Passion of the Christ. It was $2, and I was like, we're going to learn something this Hanukkah, okay? It's a long movie. We've got eight nights. So make some latkes, put them in the freezer. They'll hold. Spoiler alert, it was us. We did it. We did it. You can cut right to the end. We altered the course of human history. People get real nervous when I start to talk about Christ, you know, but I got to remind people I'm allowed to tell that joke because Jesus was a comedian. Close. Uh, have you read the New Testament? It's hilarious, actually. It's really great. I love a loves, man. People are always like, Evan, go to Bucky's. Cut out the love, go to Bucky's. Bucky's is cool, but is Bucky's still selling 9-11 merchandise? That's what I want to know. I mean, really, the only thing Bucky's is helping us never forget is January 6th, okay? A lot of beards and bumper stickers in that parking lot is all I'm saying. <laughs> oh my gosh. I love a loves. I actually love the bathroom out of Love's. That's why I love a Love's so much, because I'm always using the bathroom. Because when you're road tripping, like gas station bathrooms are sketch. But out of Love's, doesn't matter what time you're in there, you're never alone. <laughs> doesn't matter what time it is. Like Bucky's promotes clean bathrooms. I don't want that. I'm good. I want a busy bathroom, okay? I want to know this thing works and is reliable and they can be vouched for. I think a Love's bathroom is like a true beacon of diversity in the South. I mean, you never know who you're gonna run into in there. Like my favorite Love's bathroom siding is that of the trucker, half naked with a towel, because he thinks it's the bathroom with the showers. <laughs> you gonna get that view out of Bucky's? I don't think so. <laughs> Truckers are not allowed, in case you haven't heard. One time I was using the bathroom in a Love's and there was this Hispanic guy running around uh, trying to break a dollar so that he could get one of those 50 cent condoms that they still have on the wall, because they still have those in a Love's bathroom. And uh, I don't speak Spanish, uh, but I could tell this is what he was trying to do because, I mean, you don't have to be bilingual to tell when some dude's trying to get laid. You know what I'm saying? Like, it reeks. And I wanted to be like, dude, why are you trying to break a dollar in here? Like, you got a cashier out there. Go get change from that guy. And also, they probably have condoms out there. Like, ones that work. Have you seen the condoms in the bathroom out of Love's? Scented, flavored, glow in the dark. What are we doing? Go get a condom that doesn't leave your junk looking like a watermelon lightsaber, okay? Let's be responsible. 
But before I had time to like say anything to this guy, there was this big country dude in the bathroom with like a hat, belt buckle, boots, the whole get up. He gave the guy change and he just went, have fun, amigo. (laughs) It echoed throughout the whole bathroom. Like we all heard it. And to be honest, I thought it was amazing. I was inspired. I mean, people want to tell me that we're living in a divided country, but right before my eyes, two people, different backgrounds coming together in time of need. Look at God. I walked out of the bathroom the same time as that country dude, and I was just like, hey man, that's awesome what you big that did back there, giving that guy money. Like, that was incredible. And the country dude just went, yep, anything I can do to get these Mexicans to stop having babies. You know what I mean? <laughs> I was like, that is not what I was looking for. But I just went, yeehaw. I don't feel good about it. I haven't been able to sleep well since, but I threw a yeehaw on that guy. It was self-preservation in that moment. What I'm saying is it's not all love at a loves, guys. It's not all love at a loves. If you're looking for that, go to Bucky's. Okay, go to Bucky's. You'll probably have better luck.